the green screen has decided that the blue in my shirt is green. Um, and that's fine. We're going to live with it. Um, I have used the same leggings and t-shirt that I worked with um, in the last project. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get her into a cute pose and we're going to take a picture of her. Um, and then we're going to try to have her walk around. Um, so um, remember, we can change the pose of the avatar um, in the avatar library. And I'm using female version one this time, but it's pretty much the same for female version two. Um, I'm going to choose pose and get her into a nice starting position. Okay. Um, you want to, you do want to, uh, translate her. Um, hers is still going over her ankle. So I'm going to pull that up while this is happening. Maybe I pulled it too much. There we go. Perfect. So now she's in this great pose. We are going to take a picture of her. So I'm going to go to file snapshots and then I'm, you can take a set snapshot um, of your 2D patterns. I'm going to use um, the, uh, I'm going to take a snapshot of the 3D window and these were my tests. Um, you have a few options when you go to take a snapshot. You can type in your own pixels. Um, this is actually the same as uh, 16 by 9 and this is like the highest resolution um, that like Instagram will take um, or YouTube. Um, or pretty high, uh, and um, you can change to portrait. And of course, this just gives you, we'll do a portrait one. Um, this just gives you one picture of her, but if you go to multi view, it will save um, a series of pictures. Um, and that's also a great option um, if you're looking to get um, to get a different layout, right? Um, so consider, consider doing that. Um, you can also, uh, in this version, choose to have like a transparent background. Um, and you can choose to save all of these as separate images, or if this is unchecked, it would all save as one image. Um, but we're just going to go to single right now and get a nice, large, high quality image of her. Um, and you might say like, how is this different than a screenshot? Well, first off, it automatically removes the grid, which makes the background more seamless, which just looks better. Um, and then let's compare them um, really quick. I'll try to find it. For, we notice around her arms, especially... Um, there's all this kind of um, pixelization, which is aliasing. Um, aliasing just means it's like kind of a different word for pixelization. Um, and that doesn't look, that doesn't look very good. Um, so here is the file and you'll be able to see that it doesn't have nearly as much of the, um, pixelization. It's much softer around her arms. She looks much more realistic. Um, let's zoom in a little bit so I can prove that. Focusing on her hand. If she's clipping through her fabric, she's going to be clipping through her fabric in the rendering, but focusing on like, oh my god, sorry. Um, <laughs> come on. Focusing on like comparing the quality of her hands and like the quality of the the edges. That's really where um, things are getting higher quality here. Okay, so moving on to talking about uh, rendering an animation or animating in general, and this is just going to be a super quick overview 
of animation in CLO. Um, the first thing we want to do is select all the clothing and lower the particle distance on these pieces as um, probably down to 10 is probably going to look the best. Anything above that and things still look kind of um, like they look fine in the in the rendering, but when they're moving, it can look kind of unrealistic. Um, so now that the particle distance of all of those is at 10, um, if you wanted to, you could change um, her hair or anything like that if you like, um, but it's not necessary um, and I'm going to skip it. It is good to have her in her in a nice starting pose that isn't just um, her T pose uh, because that's going to be how she starts off in the animation. So we are going to switch this to the animation mode and it gives me this little panel that says simulation quality has been changed to animation stable for high quality animation. And we're going to hit OK. Um, if your computer can't handle the um, the particle distance being at 10, uh, feel free to raise it and just get an animation anyway, because I think, you know, it's pretty interesting. Um, so she is already kind of uh, has a transition in here because we've already added a movement of hers. Um, and uh, we are going to access more movements. Um, so if I like, I can delete this transition. I right click on it and choose delete. And now she's officially in this pose and she won't transition from the T pose to the hand on hip pose. Now we're going to go to motions and um, is that what we want? I believe it is. I'm just double checking. Yeah, motion. Um, and we are going to try hand on waist. Um, and we do want to move the avatar and the garment to the starting position, which is kind of like over to the left. And then she walks to the center and comes out. And I believe that all of the different types of these are just like kind of different poses that she does at the end of the animation. Um, and this transition animation is just to get her into the starting position. Um, so I'm going to hit OK. OK, so now if we um, if we zoom out a bit, you can see that she's moved a little bit off to the left. Um, and if we hit play right now, she will actually walk out of her clothing and walk away. Um, so I'm going to hit I'm going to hit stop. I'm showing you just to show you what happens. Um, and we're going to go zip back to the beginning. So I'm using the timeline down here to kind of buffer through her animation. Um, you can see she walks, you know, down the runway and off the stage. Um, but if we want her clothes to move with her, we need to hit this record button. So I'm going to do that and you can see that it adds a garment tab here in the animation editor or the timeline or whatever this is. Um, and this will probably, this could take, uh, quite a while to render. Um, so it might be that I have to come back when it's done. Um, but this will essentially decide what the clothes look like at each step of this animation. Um, and this is where maybe leaving it at 20 
um, the particle distance at 20 millimeters would have been good for this particular uh, teaching purpose. Um, but I will let you know how this goes in a minute. So I did have to raise my uh, particle distance back up to 20 just to finish that in a reasonable amount of time um, for, you know, me. Um, but maybe your computer can't handle it um, or you have the time to devote to it rendering at that uh, particle distance. Um, anyway, she now does a really great walk. I'm just going to slide the timer back to zero and hit play. And she um, has a wardrobe malfunction because her hand was clipping through her uh, clothes there. Um, so it pulled it down. I also, I forgot to pull up her um, little ankle uh, when I, before I started it. Um, but it looks really good overall. Um, and we are going to change the background color and then save it as an animation. Um, so to save the background color, we right click on the background or to change the background color, excuse me, and we choose format 3D background and I can choose um, to load a picture that I have um, or I can choose a solid fill and I can click um, to pick a color and um, Let's do the color easier on the eyes. Uh, we can hit OK. Beautiful. Um, and uh, once we've done that, I am going to try to kind of get an exciting angle. And we are going to render this angle. Um, Yeah, perfect. We're going to go to File, Video Capture, Animation. And it's yelling at me because I don't have the proper codex installed. Um, so let me just install these. So those were just um, really easy to download exe files in case you run into that. Um, and I just had to run them uh, and basically install them on my computer. So I'm hopeful that now we will be able to go to video capture animation. Yes. And we're getting this beautiful panel. Um, and with that, we would be able to choose the preset. Uh, 16 by 9 is the best. Um, and yeah, those are the two codecs I installed. And codecs just mean like how it writes a video. Um, so I'm hoping that that gives me an MP4. Um, and I think that I need to be actually at the beginning. And yeah, I'm going to start recording after she transitions into this pose and um, her hand stops clipping through her garment. Um, so you don't have to do the whole animation when we are um, saving it as a JPEG. Uh, so I'm going to hit record. Oh, and of course it did actually start at the beginning. <laughs> um, and again, this might take a minute. She has to walk through the whole animation. Um, I just noticed the shirt is sewn onto her really weirdly on the back. Um, that's okay. <laughs> like the sleeves are coming through her arm. <laughs> it's just an example lecture. It's not the end of the world. Um, there's probably under display, I think you can shut off the grid. So if I wanted to have her walk not on a grid, I could do that. Um, and after she's done 
walking, I believe will be asked to have to choose to um, save it. And we will be able to do that. Okay, I guess we can hit stop. And here's the animation. I guess we have the opportunity to play it. She looks so good with her weird shirt sleeves. Yeah, I was clipping a little bit on the back there. Um, and I'm sure that like adjusting the fits a little bit would help that. Um, Oh, that's the that's adjusting how many frames we can see down here. I'm gonna hit save and um, we'll choose where to save it. And that's really the end of the uh, the end of the example project. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and if you have any questions and it's saving it as an AVI file, which is a, it's a pretty universally readable file type. Um, but I wonder if that other codec, the MPEG one wouldn't save it as a MP4, which is even more universal. Um, so there it is. And I've just tried to launch it. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. So with some editing, I would be able to clip that out if I needed to. Um, and it's always worth a second take at this kind of thing. Uh, but there she is. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. I'm really happy to help. Um, it's really, I think it would be fun for you guys to experiment with this and let me know how it goes. So I will talk to you later.